I don't know if I did really miss anything. Everyone misses legs. <laughs> yeah, everybody skips leg day. Everyone skips leg day. Instincts going no looking bad like a bat with an eye patch. All black through the woods with a backpack and a lit match. Spark one time, get the whole city looking like a dark set of orange when I burn it down. What it is, what it do, whole click getting live on the talk of the town. Lemon City had a mouth and it wouldn't shut up. On a hunt for a crown, when they get it, I'ma burn it cause nobody in the game right now even deserve it. What in it? What's up, bro? What's going on? What's going on, man? What's up, everybody? What are we talking about today? <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about uh, Barbell Squat, the king and queen of the leg workout. It's the one of the biggest strength, um, strength and mass exercises that you can do for your legs. Um, it works. It's mainly a quad dominant exercise, but it also hits the hammies and the glutes a bit too, as well. Um, and the, and obviously the calves. But when you do the barbell squat. You're gonna obviously go up to the rack. You're gonna position yourself, you know, find where the, the height level is for you in order to tuck under it because you don't wanna be like up here and like have to drop it on your, on your back. You wanna be able just to kind of dip and pull it off the rack. Um, so from there, where I would start, I would call a form set just to make sure that your form is down, like down pat before you get into the, like, the actual weight. So just grab the bar. I normally would do 20 reps. Um, so nothing that would fatigue you obviously just to kind of get the blood flowing just to get the form down too so you know like you're not either leaning too far forward or leaning too far back you kind of get a feel for it um, so when you step to the bar and you take it off or unrack the bar you should have your feet roughly shoulder width apart maybe just a little bit more with the feet pointed out um, so that you have better range of motion and you can get down past parallel unless I said that unless you have joint problems then you know parallel is fine um, but try not to half squat or half rep because that really doesn't do anything um, well I guess it does but I'll we'll get into that later uh, but uh, so from there you're gonna dip down once you have your feet positioned down you should have the rack depending on how what feels comfortable for you you can do the low bar or you can do the high bar where it's like sits on your traps and the low bar obviously sits like below your traps just along the scapular range um, so it's up to you however you feel but the low bar is more of a hamstring whereas the high bar is a quad dominant movement um, so from there you're going to dip down try not to let your butt pinch out like um, unhinge yeah try not to let your, your butt unhinge too much because what you're trying to do is you're trying to drop into your heels you're not trying to push away this will actually give you hip damage gave, <laughs> gave me hip damage so um, and not really damage, I just have scar tissue from, I think, letting it go too far back. So I had to relearn basically how to squat again because obviously I was doing it wrong for a little while. Um, well, the guy thing is just had, like the weight. When you do too much weight, it gets crazy. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. Uh, so yeah, from there you're gonna dip down. You're gonna go just below parallel if you can. If not, go parallel and go straight back up. And the main thing here is when you come straight back up, Try not to lean forward, try not to lean back. Especially, definitely try not to lean back or try to push backwards. That's, that's not gonna end very well. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, and like I said, this is a multi-joint movement. So make sure that your joints are healthy enough for this movement. Um, other than that, I would stick to maybe leg press or head squat, stuff like that. Usually for beginners too, for form, I'm gonna get into that in a second, but you wanna use like a, a like a jump box, whatever they're called. I forgot what they're called. It's a jump box. Um, just so you can find where your your parallel is and you can train your body to actually hit the, like you can literally sit on it for a second and come back up just so you know where your range of motion is and where you should be going. Um, there's usually some something like that, or, or, like, or you can use a bench. A bench is fine too, but usually benches sit kind of too high where you're just gonna maybe go parallel, which is obviously good for a beginner. I'm not saying don't do it, but I'm just saying for a beginner. Um, yeah, that's probably your best bet, especially if you're just learning on your own. You're not, you know, gonna get a trainer or anything like that. Um, that's one of my actually biggest tips, I should say. Um, so yes, if you are a beginner, I would definitely do that first, so that you can get the range of motion, you get the, you know, where you should be, rather than just kind of. I've seen a lot of people in the gym half repping, like, and they don't even have 135 on there. 
mean, there's not a lot of weight, I get it. Um, you gotta start somewhere, but you should have actually start with good form. If, if you can't do that weight, then lower the weight. It's pretty simple. Just common sense, really. Um, which is very lacking these days, but from, uh, yeah, so like I said, this is this is a mass builder and it's gonna build strength and you wanna be able to go parallel to build the strength up because you're eventually gonna want a pyramid and you're gonna wanna be able to, you know, put up that serious weight, you know what I mean? Like but most of us wanna at least try to hit that 315 mark if you're a really serious bodybuilder. Other than that, it's, it's teach his own. But, um, so uh, beginners for reps and sets, I would say three to five sets as a beginner. I'd say no less than three, because you and you obviously want to do a warm up set before. So whatever is like a weight that's relatively light that you could do like, you know, maybe 15 reps. Don't go to fatigue though, because um, then you'll just your next couple sets will be garbage and a waste. So um, stick with three to five sets. Whatever feels comfortable, about eight to 12 reps um, or 10 to 12 really, especially because if it's lighter, then you can obviously do a bit more. Uh, for advanced, I would say six sets and you're gonna want to pyramid the weight um which when you pyramid you want to go like you know 15 rep warm up 12 10 8 8 6 maybe um and four actually if you really want to get into her uh, that's the way i've i've done it and it uh, definitely put mass on my legs and definitely built a lot of strength up so that's basically it for the barbell squat, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You, everybody, you've seen everybody do it in the gym anyway. Uh, you've seen trainers train people probably too. So, I mean, just keep an eye out and just kind of look to see what people are doing. Because obviously, the industry's so big now that you can literally find anything you want on the internet. So, I hope you end up finding me. Yeah, that's basically the barbell squat.